This is the Mediterranean Sea, filmed from the cockpit of my sailplane. I flew to Corsica. I would like to share some of the moments of this incredible flight with you. It was a lifelong dream of mine to fly to Corsica. Initially, I wanted to do it from Switzerland, but there was too much rain on this day, so I decided to go to Aosta. After a little help from my engine and 5 liters of fuel, I found wave lift which allowed me to climb almost to 5000 meters. So we're climbing with one meter per second. Here that's the Mediterranean Sea. And the goal is to go to Corsica. So we need three, four hundred meters more. And then we should actually be able to do this crossing, which has been a lifelong dream of mine. Luckily, I was able to use the numerical protection from SkySight to locate a wave completely in the blue and climb to 5,800 meters. With this altitude of almost 6,000 meters and a good tailwind, the crossing of more than 200 kilometers over the Mediterranean Sea direction Corsica should be possible. You can see we have 5,800 meters here and are now ready to approach the coast and yeah just have fun so i hope you enjoy these views as well arrival in Corsica was the most interesting part for me. Now I could see if the prediction were right or if I have to convert my sailplane into a sailboat. I tried to make some live comments out of the cockpit to share this with you. So exactly as predicted, slide climbs in front of the island. 
there will be stronger climbs on the other side. However, a bit of sync, so I'm not really motivated to do that directly now. I'll enjoy this a bit here before we cross over. Other side, found the way. It's a bit scary to fly downwind away from the island. Oh, yeah. this position, the air traffic controller in Marseille cleared me to climb to flight level 240. That's 7000 meters, which is really high. It's also a bit cold, but mainly it's very helpful to get to the mainland. The wave was even good direction Italy, and I was able to keep a good altitude north of Pisa into Massa, which created some difficulties for the Italian controller. <laughs> I understand it's really unusual flight for me to thank you very much for your uh, cooperation I appreciate it with the incredible help of the controls from Milano, I was able to slowly descend into the Po flat and the day was unfortunately too short, so I couldn't make it all the way back to Aosta. Uh, the altitude wouldn't have been enough anyway, and I decided to go for a landing in Alessandria. However, this was much further than I ever hoped to get on this day. You can see I achieved 1000 km just before reaching Alessandria, which is another nice side effect. Incredible evening views very high up means that when you get down, it's gonna be quite dark. So I didn't waste any time and landed about 15 minutes before sunset or before the end of daylight on the ground. I would say Corsica is checked. I'm extremely grateful for this flight. Everything worked out much better than I could have hoped for. The wave systems across the Mediterranean Sea are very promising and I'm sure there are many more very exciting projects and flights we could do. I can't wait to take off for my next adventure. <laughs>